<sighs> Hi everyone, Wreath and Eview Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for me to go over how I listen to an album. Ears! Use your ears! Yeah, that, that is literally how one hears, but this was going to be more about my methodology. Well, for my method OMG, it's the ears. It's the ears. Okay, well, uh, you guys know essentially what I'm trying to get at here. I'm sure. Over the years, a lot of people have asked me to give some kind of insight into my process on reviewing and listening to albums. So I would like to think for my personal album reviewing process, there are kind of three key stages that I go through. First, there is a discovery phase. The discovery phase is super preliminary, it is super surface level, and essentially what we are talking about here is reaching the point where I decide what to review. Which does involve quite a bit of listening, but there are a load of contextual factors that play into my decision making as well. If you guys are familiar, and you should be with just how saturated the internet is with content, how saturated the music market is with albums and singles and EPs, you know that they're like hundreds of releases that I could be covering, listening to, talking about any given week. I'm aware of really only even a fraction of it, and even that fraction that I'm aware of is still far too big for me to cover entirely. And that's essentially where this discovery process comes in, me listening to a gauntlet of records, going through a lot of albums, deciding what is hitting, what's not, what I have a strong opinion on, what I'm kind of reacting to, whether that be positive, whether that be negative, whether I really have anything to say about the record or the artist's work. Because most of everything that I hear day in and day out, I don't really love it, I don't really hate it, I just think it's okay, and it's probably the same for all of you too. I really do have to dig through a lot of records, a lot of suggestions before I come to something that truly moves me and excites me. I do try to account for albums that are maybe a bit more subtle or rely a lot less on a visceral response, as some albums like that may not reveal what exactly is so great about them right off the bat. This part of the process, it's very messy, it's very fast, it is imperfect, as over the years there have been records that I found going back that I totally missed or I uh, forgot to keep track of, or initially I may have not been that interested in, but that's where I might take other things into account, like am I getting a lot of requests to talk about this record? Does it seem to have a passionate, authentic, organic following behind it? Because if so, maybe I am missing something and I should go back and try it one or two more times just to see if it ends up clicking with me. Even though this phase may not be the most detail-oriented, it is one of the harder phases because of how much I have to filter through. The second phase in this three-tiered thing I would like to think is uh, sort of like a surface level phase. This is the point at which I'm pretty committed to reviewing an album, and I'm mostly just listening in a casual setting, not trying to overthink everything that I'm listening to, probably just having it on headphones and doing other things like you guys might be doing when you're listening to music, though I try not to engage in anything that would distract my mind too much from what I'm listening to. Mostly just like busy work or like, you know, working out exercise, that kind of thing. I might take a walk as well. Essentially, I'm just trying to soak the album in on a nice pair of headphones, not try to write or jot anything down unless I feel like I have some kind of like stroke of genius or whatever, but again, not writing too much because I'm not trying to commit myself to an opinion or an idea right out of the gate because I am just starting to listen to the album. I'm still figuring it out and I'm not 100% on what my opinion is yet. I'm essentially observing what are the most obvious characteristics of the album that I'm listening to. What's the length? What's the style? What's the genre? What's the mood? Is it sad, aggressive, happy, anywhere in between emotion-wise? What is the recording quality like? Are there any obvious musical or stylistic comparisons that are coming to mind. How many tracks are there? Are there skits? What are the performances like? Is the energy of the album intense? Is it laid back? Is it kind of trippy? Basically trying to make note of the same sorts of things that you guys might tell me if I asked you uh, in 10 seconds, write down every word you would use to describe my shirt. It's red, it has buttons, it's plaid, it looks like it's made of this kind of material. Is it baggy? Is it slim fit? All that kind of stuff. So after we've moved through this and I basically gathered all of these very surface level observations, we move on to what is essentially the in-depth and the writing phase. 
this is the point at which I'm listening to the album the most. I'm also listening to the album pretty intensely with no other major distractions. This is the moment where I've mostly figured out what my opinion is and I'm kind of hammering out the details of that and pulling from the album what exactly makes it tick and what is driving me to feel the way that I do about it. I'm trying to make note of what the production is like, what is the mix like, what are the progressions of the song structures like, how does the entire album play from front to back, is there a theme, does it flow well, does every song sound the friggin' same. I will not only be listening on headphones during this phase, but I'll also be trying to sample the record on like a larger stereo so I can get a fuller feel for the record. Now during this phase of the listening process, my opinions on albums can change change pretty drastically, as there are some records that do sound really good when you put them on in the background. They have a nice vibe, they have a nice aesthetic. But when you dive in deeper to what are the lyrics saying, like how do the tracks progress, like what is the structure of the song? And listen, I think aesthetics are great in all artistic mediums and they are an essential piece of uh, sort of finding your artistic voice. But for some albums and some musical acts, unfortunately, once you pull back that aesthetics mask, you kind of go beyond that, you find that uh, the inner workings of what you're observing maybe isn't really that great, isn't really that substantive, you know, might just be basic as hell. I'm not going to go through a list here or anything, but there are some records that do uh, sort of feel like, whoa, this could be like an 8 out of 10 or one of my favorite albums of the year when I'm in that more surface level stage, but once I kind of move past that and I'm listening to only the album with no other distractions and the record has to hold up as a main course, not just a side dish to whatever else I'm doing, in that context of closer scrutiny, some records just don't hold up. Or I find that some records are pretty good at bringing a thematic sound, a, a big idea, maybe even a distinct personality, but then the details buried underneath all of it are not really that interesting. Which I understand that not all people listen to music that way and that's totally fine, but honestly as someone who reviews music formally, who covers it for a living, I would think that my audience would think less of me if they were to know that I only listen to like albums on in the background and when I'm doing my reviews I'm not really paying attention. And again, casual listening is fine. There's nothing inherently wrong with casual listening. I like listening to records casually, my favorite ones, when I'm not doing work. But when I am working and when I am reviewing, that's not really the mode that I'm in. Over the course of this final section of the listening process, I will also be writing down a lot of notes, a lot of descriptions, comparisons if I can make them or if I feel like they're relevant. I'll try to write down an intro as well to the entire review. I'm not really going to go into what exactly is my writing process as of right now. I'm just letting you know that during this phase, I'm also doing some writing too, to kind of gather together and more solidify exactly what it is I'm, I'm thinking, hearing, and feeling so that I'm not just continually listening to the album and, and kind of just losing track of what it is I think and feel because I'm not like making note of it. And I think that's everything I have to say as of right now <laughs> in terms of my listening process when it comes to the albums that I review on my channel uh, pretty much every day. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video and, and just a, a bit more of an understanding of what it is I do and how I do it. You're the best. Tran Zishin, have you ever listened to an album or a song? Tell me about it in the comments. I would be interested to know. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, listening process forever.